Good afternoon. Here is the news at one. I am Dilly Agadum. The Lagos State Government has warned against any environmental infringement as well as blocking roads leading to market. General Manager of Lagos State Building Control Agency, LAFSCA, Olahon Oki, said this during an inspection of the vast land area earmarked for the relocation of Ikeja Computer Village in the urban regeneration program of the state government. Oki, while addressing the multitude of subscribers and sellers in the market, said that some buildings and structures erected illegally in some parts of the market will give way to the proper development. A Nigerian lady, Ms. Ulumi Nubi, has embarked on a solo drive from London to Lagos, has arrived into the state of aquatic splendor at about 10 a.m. this morning. Ms. Nubi was received at the semi border into Lagos territory by top Lagos state government officials led by the Commissioner for Tourism, Art and Culture, Toke Benson Awinka, and her special advisor, Idris Awinka. Nubi, who expressed her joy and gratitude to God for the safe trip, thanked the state government for the warm reception. She was received with display by the state cultural trips. Ms. Nubi, a travel content creator, began her solo trip on the 31st of January 2024. Medical Director and Chief Executive Officer of General Hospital, Shemolu Babalala Ogumbemile, says there is a need for members of staff to work together as a team for the General Hospital Shemolu to attain greater heights. Ogumbemile said this during the second staff assembly for the year. He advised the workforce to continue to educate the outpatients with empathy on the need for them to continually patronize government hospitals as they are the best in quality health care with quality and affordable services. Ogumbemile thanked and joined the workers not to engage in anything that was sabotage the efforts of the government in bringing quality health care service delivery to the people. Rather, they should work in tandem with the Themes Plus agenda of Governor Babajide Sawala's administration. The Nigerian Correctional Service is adopting multidimensional ways to address overcrowding in custodial centers across the country. Its spokesman, Albaka Umar, said that one such way is through the construction of mega custodial facilities in the six geopolitical zones of the country. Umar said that the reformation, rehabilitation, and reintegration of offenders have been upscaled since the introduction of the Nigerian Correctional Service Act 2019. He said the service has numerous workshops and skills acquisition centers for the training of inmates in various handwork. Now to foreign news. Widespread flooding in Australia has left hundreds needing to be rescued after a natural disaster was declared in regions across New South Wales. Intense rainfall at the start of the weekend saw around 300 homes evacuated in northeast Sydney. According to the Federal Minister for Emergency Management, Catherine King, flood waters had caused widespread damage across the state in a very short amount of time. King said the New South Wales government is continuing to assess the damage and understand the impact of this disaster. Also, the State Emergency Commissioner, Carlin York, said 60 community warnings remained in place for regions affected by the flooding. Now, Sport AIMBA's technical advisor, Fenindi George, says he expects fair officiating in his team's Niger Premier Football League clash against Lobby Stars. Lobby Stars will host the People's Elephant in a match day 29 fixture at the Lafia City Stadium. Fenindi expressed his team's desire to secure a good result in the game. Aimba occupied second and third positions on the table. Lobby Stars is third. And both sides are three points behind league leaders Enigo Rangers, who have gathered 51 points. And that ends our news at one. Just before we go, please do not drive beyond specified speed limit.
You can follow us on like all our various social media platforms, X Traffic Radio 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Samoa Administration organized a forum for women across 57 local government and local council development areas in the state with a view to enhancing their productivity and economic growth? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contact in the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Zainab Adibeshi. I'm Dilly Agadwa. Good afternoon. Thank you for listening.